He doesn't let other guys just do it for him. He likes to do it himself. Wires crossed. He just gets it. It's like, what's the word, prodigy? He has a palate that is unbelievable. I mean, his palate is so refined. These are a reason for being. Born to brew, that's, that's beautiful. That would sum it up. <laughs> you gotta like a lot of hops if you, if you drink our beer. I think John just has to be a genius. I don't know how his genius operates, but you don't make world-class products across the range of styles that he does. It's not just one, it's like 20 or it's 30. So that has to be gift. Gotta get the yeast. He's able to taste things as they're progressing through the brew system. Yeah, there she goes. He's brewing on a 50 barrel system. You know, so he's brewing 100 kegs at a time. You know, you can't afford to make mistakes when you're brewing 100 kegs at a time. Over the years, we have never backed off on the quality of the product and our ingredients. If you're a 5.99 six pack, you're going to taste it because the bean counters are going to tell you what to put in your beer. They don't do that here. They don't tell me what to put in my beer. so much about his product, there's no detail too small for John to look into. And if something's done the brewery, he's done it before and probably still does most of it today. People who are going to last the longest are going to be the ones that can find those special brews that people go, wow, it's nothing I ever thought of before. It's easy to make a really hoppy beer, but if it's not balanced, it just tastes astringently hoppy where John's you know, talent is to make those complex beers that are, that are balanced. This is strange, we can kill the boil, start running the hop back. He knows how to balance the hops and the barley. It's not just one hop and one barley, or two hops and two barley, it's multiple ingredients. John is truly an artist. Any good brewer can follow recipes and do them correctly no and produce a, a good, you know, a high quality product. John has that art. His art is that he can make beer so consistent, it's batch to batch to batch. You know what OSHA stands for? John is just hilarious. He's a man of few words, but when he talks, you gotta listen. Oh shit, here again. <laughs> I'd like to do now is to introduce a new keg of the John's Locker Stock for June. Woo! Fantastic beer called the Alt Beer. That's a pretty aggressive program. <laughs> Unfiltered, unfined, uncompromised. Prost, John. A new release or an archive release every month to supply 100 accounts or so across the country. All I have to do is cost the brew and then they charge accordingly. Cheers, enjoy the beer. the wort when it's boiling, that aroma, that just does it all for me. I see little kids walking, going to the, uh, the brewer's pub, 90% of them are going like that. <laughs> but the smell of, of uh, the boiling wort with the hops, oh, I live for that smell. You want to turn on the uh, inside tank and turn out the outside for me? I was just born to do this job, I know it in my heart. This is my thing, man. I'll die doing it. They'll never get me off the floor. <laughs>